So here comes the new Jeezy Under Pressure album. Now, for all of you who don't know who Jeezy is, allow me to fill in the blank and some information about him in this album. Now, of course, Jeezy is a yeah, Atlanta phenomenon, which released his first album on Def Jam, which was called Thug Motivation 101. It was um, on corporate thugging. It sold pretty well. And actually, Jeezy had a mention on Kendrick Lamar's album, Good Kid, Mad City. That's probably why he was featured on this album towards the ending tracks. Now, of course, Young Jeezy dropped the Young from his name, probably because he's becoming a very well-aged man by this time. And it seems a little silly that he would have it on his name, you know, of course. And let's get to the song. Now, one of the things that I want to point out is this album has a lot to talk about race. Too bad the subject matter does not match the seriousness of the topic. Like on the song Spider, he referenced like a slave and a whip. But slaves get whipped. They don't really have the whips, young Jeezy. If you're going to reference history, reference it right, if you ask me. And of course, on the next track, which is Cold Summer, Jeezy referenced beautiful women. Of course, he practiced a little bit of what I like to call colorism when he mentions that they're all light skinned, you know. Now, this wouldn't be a problem with me if it wasn't for the previous trap referencing slaves, if you ask me. Then on the one of the last tracks, which is American Dream, J. Cole referenced white people benefiting from crack, but he don't have time to explain to you why, which is a pretty stupid thing. Why would you even reference that if you're not going to explain it, J. Cole? But hey, that's fucking... Uh, isn't J. Cole like half white? So why is he throwing down half of his people, if you ask me? When this album is not making politically insensitive race comments, it's just making horrible fucking references. Like on the song, in a major way, he referenced him dating his money and him taking his money out on a date, which would be good. But on the song, American Dream, yet again, he referenced getting his dick hard while he's counting his money, which was pretty disgusting. And on the song, The Life, he referenced that we is cheese. Like, to put in context, he was talking about how there was some other type of people, and I guess we is cheese referenced that they have cheddar or just money and stuff like that. But it could also be taken that you are cheesy, jeezy, young cheesy. Like, that, that wasn't really a good grammatical line at all. But hey, who cares about grammatical sentences and reading and shit like that? Kodak Black, a guy who says he's not attracted to dark-skinned women, said that his girl failed at reading. Literally, if you listen to the track, he says that his girl fails at reading. And then we have a song like Valet Interlude, where Young Jeezy says that he's on his shit. He might have to buy a stool. Lame. Just lame. And on the song, This Is It, Young Jeezy asks a person where he sold crack at on the first verse. Then he complains about dry snitching on the second so either you don't want people to drop information that could incriminate themselves or you want them to pick one. And speaking of that, why is a guy like Young Jeezy, a drug dealer, talking about how he sold drugs? Wouldn't that incriminate himself? Is he dry snitching on himself? I don't know. And then on a song like Floor Seats, he referenced how he's six flags and he's about to ride on the ride or how the girl's going to do that, which is like the worst pun in hip hop history. Like that 
That that was horrible, Jeezy. That was pretty damn horrible. Then you get a closing track like Snow Season, which all the sad references to race kind of gives Snow Sneeze Snow Season a new reference. But whatever. This song, by the end of the song, kind of sounds like it was unfinished. Like, they started just lowering the vocals, like the vocal pitch and sound like that. And the hook is still playing. Like, that was a horrible way to end the album. Hell, yet alone a song. That was just a horrible way to end it. Like, you couldn't find any more grand ending to this whole track. I mean... Is Jeezy letting the, like, pressure get to him? Like, what's up with this album, man? This album's pretty bad if you actually listen to it and look into it. Even a Kendrick Lamar verse can't really save this album. Um, I'm not really feeling this album. Overall, it's pretty bad. I'm going to give this album a three for its kind of, like, insensitivity to, like, race issues and race as a whole for its overall generic feel and young Jeezy should really like at this point retire I'm not feeling it so hey, I'm just gonna end this video right here but before I do before I end this video let me give a shout out to two up-and-coming channels okay the rap reviewer which is a pretty good friend of mine. I personally find him to be very interesting and overall a pretty nice guy. And no one reviews. He's a pretty awesome guy as well. I check out both of their channels every day. It's a pretty nice channels. And I'm just going to end it right here. Please like, subscribe, share the video, post whatever the hell you want in the comment section. And if you disagree with me, then try to articulate or give an intelligent answer why and i'm out guys peace outing 1000